Good though. Yeah. Melzen, congratulations on the victory. I'm, I'm sure you would have liked to get a finish if possible, but uh, but how are you feeling about the performance overall? I feel good, but not happy. <laughs> Does it take getting a finish for you to be satisfied? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. Yeah, it's happening like this too. It's yeah. good. Sometimes there's value in, in, in spending more time in the cage. Do you, do you feel that yeah, way at all? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's experience. And then, uh, yeah, after every fight, it doesn't matter how it went. It's giving you good experience, nice. for sure. Uh, low kicks were uh, especially effective. I mean, is that pretty much what we can expect out of you every time? Or was that something that was special for tonight? Uh, that low kick's uh, special for tonight. Yeah, that's uh, special for tonight because I know he's like karate and then he's going to do some movement. It's uh, going to be hard to catch him because he knows that if he stands with me, it's, it's not good for him. <clears throat> That's why uh, I was thinking to like break the legs and then yeah just slow him down and then after that continue. Nice. Was it frustrating at all his movement? Like I mean you were having to chase him down a lot. Was that frustrating at all for you? First what? Was it frustrating or uh, upsetting that you had to chase him down? No, it's it's good. Just you know sometimes uh, like if you're uh, if you want. Uh, someone stand and like fight you and then they are moving you know around it's yeah sometimes I mean it's okay I can I can make adjustments with every fighter and every style yeah but sometimes like for example this one and then you know I couldn't do like head kick or something and then you think oh this is like I'm not fighting good or something yeah that's why sometimes you want, like, they stay and then you just kick them. <laughs> uh, you did get to show a little bit of clinch work, a little bit of wrestling defense, because obviously that's what people are going to question about you. So were you happy that you got to show a little bit of that tonight? Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, I mean, uh, my, my wrestling and jiu-jitsu, like, lots of better. And then, uh, like, we see the, in the fight. And then I saw that in the uh, training time, too. But uh, training time is different, you know. Everyone is like great training time, but they uh, they come to the ring and then I don't know. They just change like different people. <laughs> uh, last thing for me, I mean, uh, two and zero now. Uh, are, are you calling out people yet? Are there are there names you want to face? Do you want to fight again quickly? What's what's the plan moving forward? Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, I, I don't like like talk too much or uh, calling out. No, I'm calling out the people who are like, you know, I'm just call out the good people, my brothers, my family, and then who just like everyone who just uh, love me and then they they support me. I just just want to say love you guys. I just call them out. I don't want to call them out like what I did, like two week three and then call out someone. No, it's like you have to be, you have to have uh, history. If you don't have history, you can't talk. If you want to talk something and then do something, you have to have history. You have to uh, have done like lots of job. I didn't do lots of job. I just started. Also over here on the other side. Uh, just watching the fight, it seems like your opponents would switch stance. He would throw a very specific kick and then he would switch back. He would throw a different one. And we could tell that watching on the TV. Could you see all of that in the middle of the fight? Like all, you could see this all coming before we even saw it. Uh, for sure. Before the fight, I knew he gonna switch because my coach tell you know that's like kind of karate style. They like like a dancing and then dancing like that. And then <coughs> I knew he gonna change. And then when he got like a uh, couple kicks, and then that that time he was a uh, southpaw like me. And then he just change because of hurt. And then the coach say, oh change, change, go back like southpaw too. But like he's like, he wants to go like orthodox, and then coach say, oh, go back because they they want to do like some I don't know like okay. kick and then like quick karate things. Uh, yeah, I of course I see everything, and then uh, yeah, it's kind of work for him too. Yeah. And I know you said you you need history to call people out. When would you like to fight again? Is there a timetable for when you want to fight in the octagon? When times come. When times come, if if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, call some big name, you have to compare like that. You have to be like you can't be in the first level and then call 
uh, like someone they are in fifth level. Yeah. yeah, just like go there and then talk about them and then do whatever something you like. Were you frustrated over here? Were you frustrated that he missed weight? Uh, Brun? I didn't. I didn't know before the. I mean, I just knew that. Uh, like he just uh, saw me yesterday and then like, oh brother, sorry, I uh, missed the weight. And then yeah, uh, today uh, the commission told me like, uh, but it's okay. I said it's okay. I'll, I'll see you in LA and then give you that percentage back, or we can go eat something. So you gave him his 20% back. You didn't I mean, check. I can give, but I told him like, bro. I mean, I was joking, but I can give him too. It's I mean, it's nothing. I say we can go eat something and then in LA. What yeah. did he say? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, he gonna say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said for sure we could. I mean, uh, that's uh, that's not uh, looking good his side if uh, he couldn't make the weight. I mean, I don't care. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, that that mean uh, a word for me. I mean, uh, I'm kind of different, brother. You know, uh, it doesn't matter who you are. Like, you know, you're UFC fighter, or I mean, I'm in in this sport like since six, like 23, four years, and then I saw everything. Like, I have done, I saw everything in this fight game. The only thing it's uh, it's when when you loved. And then, uh, not only Armenians, I mean, uh, I got so many like DMs and then calls and then I, I just scared to see my phone. It's like, it's maybe dying. <laughs> and then the important thing for me is that one, when, when everyone loves you. And then if you are like, of course, it's an honor for me, you know, you're like Armenian, like, just an Armenian guy, small guy, and then coming to New York, and then it's big city, and then megapolis, and then you have like, oh, Melsi, that's, that's something, something different. It doesn't matter who you are, like UFC fighter or just like someone, but if you, if you love, and then you have like lots of, uh, lots of uh, respect, that's what I like, that's what I want. And, uh, this, this week, last year at this time, the end of the art soft war. Um, what does it mean for you one year later to kind of compete on a big stage to uh, kind of help put Armenia on the map? <clears throat> it's uh, it's uh, it's an honor for me to represent uh, Armenia. And then yeah, that art soft war was we never forgot, uh, but. We'll talk later about that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.